So today I am going to be doing a sort of first try pen test sort of video uh, for a couple of, of the newer pens that I have recently purchased. Um, this is not like a haul video, but it could be construed as like a first impressions. Um, it's more like, hey, just try out my pens with me. <laughs> Sort of thing. I um, recently bought um, quite a few different pens and I showcased all of them I think in an Instagram video um, but I bought one more since then actually. Anyway uh, I'm going to be filming a video of basically trying out mostly new pens and all of the currently new 2023 Ferris Wheel Press inks. And that video will go up next week, but I realized in pairing pens with appropriate inks from their launches for this year that there were a couple of my newer pens that I received that would be left out just because they wouldn't be suitable for the inks or um, what have you. So uh, what I decided to do is kind of make this kind of pre that video uh, prequel to that um, to show you the three pens that um, are newer to me that won't be featured in that video. <laughs> All of that to say, uh, this is a newer ink I haven't tried yet, but it's not a new ink in general. This is the Atlas Iron Ore from Ferris Wheel Press. And then the other two inks that I will be using are two that I have used and, um, well, one of them that I have used and one that I have swatched but not really used. Um, this, um... Yoseka Ceramics uh, Tang Mise Blue, which is actually kind of a greenish color. I'm going to be putting that in the Lamy. And then this I have swatched, uh, but not used. And that is the uh, wer Weringule. Wer Weringule. I'm not really sure how to say this name. Uh, I believe they are based in Korea. Yes, um, this is their Dorothy color, so I'm going to be using that as well. Uh, so this one is the only one that would have maybe been suited to that Ferris Wheel Press Inks video, but um, that video is really dedicated to the 2023 releases, and this is from maybe a year or two ago. Anyway, so let me go ahead and introduce you to the pens, and I will ink them up, and we will just kind of play with them together. Um, the third pen is the, um, we'll just put this one's Vibrant Violet, I think. Vibrant Violet. Um, this other one is the Very Perry, and that will be featured in the Ferris Wheel Press video, but yeah, so um, here's what we've got. I'm going to be putting um, in the Caveco, uh, this is the Cyan, yeah, the Caveco Collection Cyan. This is now currently um, discontinued which just means that it's not being restocked by retailers and it's not being uh, continually distributed by Caveco. So this is a fine point nib and um, for this pen I am going to be using the Dorothy color. This pen is showing a little bit more cool toned in the video than it actually is. Let me maybe close my blinds and see if I can get more accurate lighting. It's still a little bit more cool toned, but I think I'm going to have to be okay with that. Um, so yes, this is the Caveco collection. I got it in a fine nib. I actually received this one 
maybe like the first or second week of January, but this is the first time I'm opening it. Uh, this is the Kaveco All Sport. It's got the metal body. Um, this one I purchased from Gold Spot. And these um, sort of limited edition ones, I think this one's from 2021. Um, this one specifically it was, um, it has the Gold Spot branding. I don't know if it's because it's, I think it's because it was um, limited edition to them oh wait no this one i'm using in the other video i grabbed the wrong one um uh -huh, okay yes i'm mistaken i realized it when i realized this is the fine fine nib and i'm using that one with um a specific ink in the other video um this one has a bold nib is that right yes and that one will be better suited for this because it has shimmer so this one i also did purchase from gold spot this one is the fiber and violet i think now I feel like I'm second guessing. I need to double check the names of these. Okay, yes. So this is Vibrant Violet. That's, I felt like I was wrong, but I couldn't quite figure out why until I had opened it up. Okay, so this is the Kaveco Collection um, Vibrant Violet. It's got the gold nib and finial. And... Um, the other one I will show you in the, in the video next week, but, um, yes. So this one's got a, a bold nib. I do really like the bold nib, um, the other Kaveco bold nib that I have. So I imagine this will be pretty similar. It does have the, um, gold finish on it. So that might differ. Um, I'm just going to grab my converters for these because I'm going to need two of them. Uh, and then this last pen is the Lamy Safari um, Mint, which I believe was maybe a special edition from a couple of years ago. But um, I did I did pick up that in, I believe it's a fine or extra fine um, nib. That one still had its cartridge in it. And this ink, actually, I already have inked up in a different pen. And it's not really anywhere near running out. But I do really like it. And I think that it will um, be a good addition to this pen. So this is an extra fine nib. So uh, this is my first Lamy pen. So this will be an interesting experience. It feels, I feel like it like really collects like lint and dust. I don't know if there's like some sort of, I don't know if there's some sort of like static charge to it that causes it to do that. But anyway, when I bought this, I bought it, I, I bought a converter with the purchase, um, but they did not include it in the box. Um, it's not included with the pen at all. Uh, so when I bought it, I was quite disappointed that I had to wait even longer for them to send, send out the, um, the converter. But, uh, what can you do? Uh, <laughs> I could have just used the cartridge and I've heard from a few people online that these Lamy converters, um, maybe are not the best quality, but I don't know. I've never tried it. And I did not feel like wasting the, um, the ink in here just to clean it out and use my preferred ink. And also I didn't really want to use this ink, um, at this current time because I already have a pen, this one here, that is using a standard cartridge blue from Caveco. And so I'm, I'm not really interested in having those standard cartridge blues 
just be everything that I have in my pens. So now that I've rambled on for a sufficient 10 minutes or so, let me go ahead and ink everything up and then I will come back and, and do some writing samples. Okay, I filled this one first with the Yoseka Ceramics ink because I knew I was going to have to fill the converter separately because this is so low. And so I've had it just sitting here uh, inverted so that it will um, kind of flow down into the nib. So let's see. Let's see how that went. I think that this pen is designed to be posted. Yeah. The grip section is quite interesting in that it has a very specific um, way that you should be holding it. So uh, I guess as long as it's comfortable, it's not that specific, but uh, I can't imagine there's too many different comfortable ways to hold that. So we have this, um, let me see, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit more. I'll give a different angle maybe. Okay. Well, for an extra fine nib, that's quite wider than I expected. It is a um, European brand. So European brand nibs are inherently more uh, wider, I guess. They write a bit more juicy. Um, but that is the Lamy Safari. Uh, this is the Caveco extra fine nib. This is the Caveco Collection Sage. This also has the same ink in it. Um, same ink, same uh, quote-unquote nib size, but you know, for a different brand, of course. These are both European brand nibs, though. So that's the Caveco Extra Fine, and that's the Lamy Safari Extra Fine. So um, I'm sure that additional testing would have to be done to compare, you know, each individual pen nib, but this um, Lamy Extra Fine writes much like a uh, a Caveco um, I want to say it writes more like the Caveco Medium even. I don't have an, uh, an inked fine nib I don't think right now. That might be, that feels very comparable actually. So um, that's very interesting. I guess I, I am quite interested to see how the wider nibs from Lamy perform then if that's their extra fine. Because this is, again, this is, this is extra fine as well. It's very interesting. Hmm. I did order the Lamy All-Star, I think it is. <clears throat> uh, that's going to be in that video next week as well, because I'm going to be trying it out with one of the new Fairsville Press inks. But I don't think I got an extra fine. I might have gotten... I might have bought a medium nib. So I'm curious to see how those will compare. So far, um... This definitely exceeds my expectations, literally, in terms of, like, how wide I expected it to be. Uh, this doesn't bother me, I'll be completely honest. Um, I like a, a juicier, wider nib. In case anybody's curious, this is what that, um, that ink color is, the Tang Mise Blue from Yaseka Ceramics. 
Uh, the second one I'm going to try is the Caveco Collection Cyan. Um, again, not showing you as warm a color as it is, but that's okay. This is a fine nib. Oh, I did say that I didn't know if I had an inked fine nib. Well, I have one right here, so we'll try it out. I have in here the Dorothy from uh, Wearing Yule. This, um, I don't have one of the little ink pot swatches like this yet. Because I wasn't sure I was even going to keep this ink. I have returned one of this brand's ink before because it was very much not what I expected. Um, this one, though, I think that while I have a few other blues in my collection, um, the Twisby Midnight Blue I really like. Um, I thought about returning it because it wasn't quite the color I was going to anticipate it being. I thought it was going to be like a different like hue. Um, but that being said, it's not exactly like the other blues I have, so I decided to not return it. Um, oh. um. Okay, yeah, I really feel like the extra fine from the Lamy Safari is more more wide, more juicy, more thick, whatever you want to call it, than the fine nib from Caveco and is more on par with the Caveco medium, which is just very interesting to me. Uh, so yeah, that's the Caveco Fine Nib. This one's writing really well. I had a Fine Nib already. Um, the Mellow Blue pen I got. I got in a Fine Nib and there were some issues with the nib itself. Oh, I just... Don't put your finger on the feed. <laughs> But there were some issues with the the nib itself, and uh, I worked through some troubleshooting steps, and and quite honestly, they didn't really take care of the issue. <laughs> so I am, it's kind of in timeout in a in a semi retirement until I can get a replacement for it and I'm gonna once I once I can get a replacement I'll probably mess with the nib a little bit more to see if I can doctor it um but I don't want to start doctoring it until I for sure have a replacement in hand just in case I totally mess it up but yeah so that's the Caveco collection cyan in the fine nib and then the last one I have to kind of test out this is the Caveco Collection All All Star is that what it's called? I don't know. the The Lamy they call theirs an All Star, right? So this is an All Sport or an AL Sport, I think. Um, this one is the Vibrant Violet, I believe, and it's got the gold finial, the gold nib. I think it's just gold plated. I don't think it's a true gold nib. I am gonna post that. There we go. Um, I did kind of get it a little bit grimied up with the inking because this Atlas Iron Ore ink is very kind of messy. Um, so I did buy this one directly from the Atlas Stationers store. I bought this when I purchased the, the new Lamy Petrol. And I, I bought them in the same order just for sake of the fact that I wanted it and 
uh, they could ship together and not necessarily that the two inks needed to go together. Um, let's see, I really quickly made a swatch card for it. So that's what the ink looks like. Very pretty. Um, yep. Uh, let's put it up here. So here we go, the bold nib. Very interesting. So I know for sure that ink plays a part in kind of how juicy a nib can be, but this almost feels just as intense as the double bold. And it feels a lot more intense than the other bold nib I have. The other bold nib I have is not inked right now, but my double bold or broad is it broad or bold i think it's actually called a broad nib from caveco i think it's a broad nib um but this is the double and this has another ferris wheel press ink in it so i'm expecting they would perform similarly this is the caveco uh, black crystal. Double. Double broad. I think broad is the word. So it's kind of interesting that these, these two are very similar in how they write. Hmm, very interesting. I, I wish I had the other um, broad nib inked because then I could compare and show you that the other broad nib I have definitely does not write that, that thick. I, I think I have a sample. I think I have a writing sample in my journal because I was trying to use up the ink a little bit. Um... That's those two broad nibs next to each other. I guess they are pretty similar. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Well, let me zoom me back out a little bit here. That's the broad nib. Um, very, nope, vibrant violet, not very berry. To be honest, I think that I am destined to be forgetful of which is which for quite some time. My hands are very inky from that. That Atlas Iron Ore. Anyway. I guess I ended up testing out a few more pens that I had anticipated just because these nibs um, performed differently than I thought they would. But that was a fun time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so let me grab the pens that I officially was testing here so that I can kind of pop them all in to frame. But I don't know. Is this, is this dry? It may not be. The, um, yeah, so that's, that's those pens for you. Um, I'm going to be, um, let me see, I have a little list here. I'm going to be sharing the Ferris Wheel Press 2023 inks all in one video as like a review. Uh, that will include the Purple Jade Rabbit, which I've had and I've been using for a couple of, uh, couple of weeks now. And the, which one is this? What is this called? Lapis Lullabies. Uh, so those are the January releases. And then today I just received, haven't even taken it out of the box, the Workshop Wishes. That's the one that comes after Lapis Lullabies in that series. And then they just released their New York, New York collection 
which at this point in time, I just feel like I don't need a 10 more full bottles. I wanted to try all three colors and I, uh, I got the ink charger set. So it comes with all three Grand Central Station lights on Broadway and Central Park Greens. And Central Park Greens, I would love to get my hands on a full bottle of that. But that was not in the cards for right now. So I just got the ink charger set, which is five mils, which is quite a lot, actually, <laughs> I feel. Um, and so I'm going to be I, uh, inking up some of my other new pens um, and then I think for the ones where it's not a new pen or that I didn't have a good new pen to go with it I will um, just use my dip pen but I'm going to be doing an ink specific video to show off all is it six one two all six of the current 2023 uh, Ferris will press new releases. So that will be next week. And I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you for joining me for this little pen test video. I'll see you next time.